we broke the AI. Thank you. Thank you for coming to the stream. I have stopped the AI uprising. There is nothing to worry about. I want to try playing Minecraft. You're about to enter a first-of-its-kind video model, a game engine trained by millions of gameplay hours. Every step you'll take will shape the environment around you in real time. Let's do Mountain Meadow. Begin your journey. I am now playing AI Minecraft. I can only do it for five minutes. The thing that trips me out is genuinely the fact that it looks like a dream. And that's what trips me out. Because it genuinely is like a... I'm just thinking, are these things gaining consciousness? Because, because it's spooky. Like, look at this. I stepped in water and suddenly there's water all around me. This is how a dream works. This is an incoherent thought process it, it scares me because it's not gibberish it's coherent but the problem is it's not consistent it's not that it doesn't make any sense it's just the fact that it, there's no temporal consistency like look at this it's scary it feels like i'm playing at 2 fps in the year 2006 let me try and find something let me just sprint in a one direction Oh, that's sandstone. It's gone now. Um, there is now a hill and a mountain. And sugar cane? Why is there why is there no noise? I want noise. There we go. I got tools. I got a stone pickaxe and a stone shovel. Well, let's go mining. Dig straight down. Why am I not falling into the hole? Let's pop off. I'm gonna find diamonds in the two minutes that I have left. I'm not falling, I'm, I'm, I'm literally floating. Wait, if I spam crouch? Yes! I thought so. So I'm making the game think that I should be descending because the crouch like makes you crouch very, very slightly. Okay, now let's generate diamonds. I am in pitch darkness, I can't see anything. Um, I don't think I should have done that. Let me see if I can generate torches in my inventory. Oh! Let's go. What the hell is that? Wait! <gasps> I'm back up! <laughs> This is actually insane. Like, this is genuinely... Why is there wood? Let me see if I can generate a house. Oh! <gasps> it worked! Kind of. No, now now is just like... What? I, I want to find wood and I want to... Ge I generated a house. We got a house. Free house exploit. Let's try it again. Let's walk up to the wood. Wait. Wait. It didn't work. Oh no! There's been there's been a there's been an explosion. I think bad things have happened here. Never mind, they're gone. This is genuinely like the closest approximation. Oh, this is a house. This is the closest approximation of a visualization of a dream. I think. Because when I'm looking at this, it's cobblestone. But the the moment I move my head, it's gone. Let's do. Let's do village. I'm in a village. I'm a man on a mission. I'm gonna walk to this house. I'm not going to lose focus of this house. Okay. Do the wood exploit. Wait. Wait. I can't, I can't, I can't look away from the wood. Just give me a house. 
Close enough. Do not lose focus of this of this road. Do not lose focus. Maybe you know how in a lucid dream, there are the techniques to not wake up. Like you have to clap your hands, you have to count your fingers. So let's get my bearings. There's a torch. One torch, two cobblestone blocks. One torch, two cobblestone blocks. Oh my god, I just realized I can maneuver through this latent space by placing fence. But it's not. I lost focus. I lost I lost focus again. Reality is bending. There are now windows. What's what's inside of the windows? Oh my god, this is gonna be trippy. I'm gonna walk and just see stuff regenerate through the windows. I broke it. The simulation has begun. We broke it! <laughs> I actually broke it, that's it! It broke! I created a multiverse. By peeking through the glass, I was glimpsing another world. I broke it! I broke it. That's it. GG's. We found the ultimate exploit. So, if we ever want to break a... This is what you should remember when our brains are uploaded to the Matrix. You have to look through glass, because through the glass, a new world will be generated, right? And every time a new world is generated, you just have to turn your head slightly, and it will regenerate. And it will compound and compound and compound over time. And boom. We broke the AI. Thank you. Thank you for coming to the stream. I have stopped the AI uprising. There is nothing to worry about. If, if ever it gains sentience, I will figure out how to break it in at least... Not at least, in 10 minutes tops. It's not even gonna be a big deal. The savior of mankind, Kuroto. The man who looked through glass. I wanna see if something happens. I think it broke completely, because even you can see the achievement window up here. And it's not changing either, so I think it's actually like stuck on a frame. I would really want to know how much compute this needs. Like, can I run this on my own GPU? Because if I could, I think it'd be really, really entertaining to do like a four hour stream and see if my brain is messed up. Because I genuinely think if you play this for a long time, I think it would start to be like, I think it starts to mess with your brain. Because I think about when I play VR for a long time, I genuinely start to feel like when I see my hands IRL, they look wrong. And this is a genuine thing that happens with VR. This is actually like, this is not even a VR thing. Um, there is the, um, what's it called? There's the ghost limb experiment thingy, right? So basically, what it does, right here. So what you do, and this is like a proven thing. This is not made up, I promise. I would never tell you made up things. So you have like a person with their real arm, and you let them look at a fake arm, right? And you mimic the movements on both. And when the fake arm is smashed by a hammer, the person, even though they know it's a fake arm, they will react as if it's their own arm, right? These things mess with our brains because we are still monkeys. We rely on visual stimuli to keep us situated in the real world. And when that stimuli is broken, we get confused. So I think if you played this for a long time, it's gonna break. Let me see if I can figure out a way to get it. Oh my god, it does. It's, it's open source. It doesn't say anywhere hardware requirements. I I'm gonna look into this. I'm gonna look into this. Special glasses that flip your vision upside down. After a while, your vision adapts to it. You get used to it. Then you take the glasses off and you get confused again. Isn't there like an actual thing of the dude who wore the upside down glasses and his vision actually flipped? Or is that like an urban myth? Yeah, I remember, I remember reading something like this. We quickly adjust to seeing everything upside down. Researcher wearing goggles that inverted everything stumbled upon a wild, uh, wildly at first, but soon enough he was able to ride a bicycle. I think at a certain point your brain just adapts. This is insane. This is why I wanted to go into neuroscience. This stuff is so incredibly interesting. Because like, the reason why I describe this as a dream is because I do think fundamentally dreams are something similar to like the way diffusion models work.
I do think so. I think all of this stuff is not that far off from what we perceive as consciousness. Every time Corona pulls up a new uh, random Google search for you embark on a new journey. Let me tell you, if you were to find out that I was actually the first AI generated persona who just talks about literally anything that comes to my mind, you probably wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> It's similar to sea legs where you spend enough time on a boat and everything becomes wobbly. You can barely walk straight on uh, flat ground. Yeah, yeah. And I do think like this kind of sensory based stuff, all of it works very, very similarly, I think. There, there's there been research done about like what the, what the, like, uh, like what stimuli is the thing people latch onto. And from what I know, it's still vision. Like the biggest thing is still vision. Everything else is secondary. Because, like, obviously there's, like, fluids in your ear that make your balance work. Stuff like that, right? That's, like, much more complicated than just, like, seeing something or having a good sense of balance. But I think from what I understand, vision is still, like, if your vision is messed up, everything else is messed up. Which kind of makes sense, you know? But then again, there are people who, who, who are, like, blind and they also adapt in many different ways. So, I don't know. This stuff is so interesting to me. I'm going to look into how much hardware this needs. And if I can set this up, we're going to do an experiment. I'm going to play this for like however many hours and we'll see what happens. Because I don't know what I need to set this up because this is just like PyTorch. This I can do easily. I don't know if it if it like uh, downloads like an actual executable thing or I need some sort of like uh, interface or something. I'll look into this. I'll look into this. I can't wait for people to come up with more stuff like this. I can just imagine like the first horror game that is going to be like uh, based on like a pseudo prompt and then everything else after that is generated for you. It's going to be so cool. As soon as they solve temporal consistency, this stuff is going to pop off and I'll be there for it. It's so goofy though.